to see you. Tell you I'm sorry. This war has just gone on too long. I will not leave you. Tell you I need you. Tell you I can't be apart. Tell me. Hey, Dune Man, Jinus, Tanky Toddler here, bringing you guys Halo 4 gameplay on whatever map this is. And today we're going to be talking about girl gamers. Girl YouTubers and girls and and the society of gaming in general, right? So let's get started. A lot to talk about, man. And some of you guys are gonna completely agree with me or not agree with me at all, and that's totally fine. You have your right to do that. So let me know in the comments below what you think about girl gaming and girl YouTubers. I would like you to post it after you hear the whole commentary though. But I know not all of you will, so it's fine if you post it now, your own opinion on it. That's cool. I'd like to hear from you guys. So, anyways. Recently, I guess I've known a little rise and a lot more girl YouTubers and girl gamers and stuff. And I think it's totally fine. I think it's I think it's cool. I think that girl gamers just have the same right as girl as guy gamers. You know what I mean? I don't think there's any difference. And I have gaming girl friends and I have uh, gaming guy friends. I don't see them any different. Um, the girls are probably a lot cuter. That's pretty much the only difference I could see in that. <laughs> but um, anyways, so a lot of people get kind of upset. And this is really weird because we hold girls to different standards in different situations. For instance, here's one. People hate on YouTube when it when there's a girl on a YouTube and gaming and she flaunts her body and stuff. Like she like in Twitter she she puts pictures out. People call her sluts, people call her whores and all that shit. I see it all the time. Or if they like have their like little you know, you have a little photo you have on your YouTube channel. I forget what it's called right now, your avatar thing. And if there's a girl on there and she's posing with her duck face or anything like that, she's trying to look cute, you know. People call her sluts, people call her whores, people call her fucking view whores, whatever they want to call her. But it's like, when it happens in normal society, for instance, let's call movies, TV shows, advertisements, commercials, posters, even porn, everything. It's like, if a girl looks hot on there, she's hot. We're not calling her a slut or whore, maybe porn, there's probably people calling her that, but, um, but a best, here's a good, here's a good example. Um, Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition. Kate Upton was on the cover, and she had her boobs out, her cleavage. And it was an awesome picture. And I've never heard a single person complain about it. But if a girl gamer posted a picture of Twitter like that, she would get slut-shamed so fast and so hard. Like, it'd be crazy. And obviously, it's a little bit of different because Kate Upton's a model and getting paid for that. And some girl on Twitter is just trying to get cool views and, like, people talk about it. So, I mean, it's a little different in a way, but in the same, in fact, it's not because people like people get so mad that girl gamers are successful on YouTube and gaming. And, and in a way, I was a little bit bitter in a, at, at first, but I'm really not really bitter. It's just kind of like, man, like because the average age for viewers is probably between 12 and 17 year old males. And those are the those that's the age when people when guys are like obsessed with girls. That's the age when they figured out like, holy shit. Girls are hot, and I want to hook up with them and make out with them long time and ha hold their hands. That's the age. So sometimes they look up to girls, especially the older girls. Because have you noticed for um, commentary for for YouTube um, videos and gaming, have you noticed the average age of a girl gaming, uh, of a girl YouTuber is probably higher uh, than the average age of a guy YouTuber for gaming? Because I've never, I guess I, maybe I'm wrong. But I haven't seen a lot of little girls, probably like 12, 14, 15, commentating on YouTube with gaming. But I see a lot of them, probably 16 and up, uh, commenting on YouTube. On the other hand, there's a lot of guy gamers that do YouTube from a really early age. The earliest I've seen is like 8, 9, and probably earlier than that. Go all the way up to my age and older. So it's just a different standard. And the reason I was kind of jealous is because... Because of that is because, uh, I said because a lot. I'm, I'm losing my train of thought. I'm losing my mind. But, um, it's easier for a girl YouTuber at an older age to get some viewers than a guy sometimes because of just their looks. Some people subscribe to girls just because of their looks. For instance, I don't really know a lot of girls that subscribe to me just because of my looks. Most of the people subscribe to me for either they think I'm funny, I have good gameplay, I'm a good singer, or they just like to hear what I say. I don't know. They like my personality. 
when it comes to girls, um, they either subscribe to them for all the reasons I have, plus their looks, their personalities, if you know what I mean. Um, not always the case though, and like I said, I have a lot. I've, I have a lot of friends. Not a lot. I have a few friends that are girls that are pretty cool, and I don't have a problem with it. Um, I just don't. I guess I don't really always like. The one thing I don't like with girl gamers do is when they slut shame themselves. As in, and I don't even like that term, slut shaming, but it's a big term now. Everybody's using it about cyberbullying on the interwebs. And um, I hate when I go to a channel, the girl channel, and she says something like her channel name is like Sexy Slut Sniper or some shit like that. Or like the biggest hoe in gaming. or the or And I heard a commentary, what up, like, what up ladies and gentlemen, the biggest whore in gaming here or something weird like that. And I'm like, why are you doing that? Why? I don't like it. I think it's really stupid. You don't hear me calling me the biggest, I don't know. I guess you probably hear people call him the biggest man whore in gaming and stuff. I don't know. It's just not the same. I just don't feel like girls should call themselves sluts to get views. I don't like it. I don't, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's the same. Whores, I don't know. Well, they're really, to be fair, even for the standards, there really isn't a term like whore for guys. For instance, whore is a bad thing for a girl. But being a man whore is not always a bad thing. A lot of guys actually think being a man whore is pretty cool. But when you are a whore as a girl, fuck, dude. Don't admit it if you are one and try to hide it because they're after you. It's just really weird the double standards people hold for girls and guys. Um, so girl gaming is here to stay, and I think they're pretty awesome. I think there have been a lot of girl gamers, a lot of cool ones. Um, but whenever I get into the lobby and there's a girl in there, there's either somebody making fun of them, telling them to go make them sandwich in the kitchen jokes, or they are trying to hit on them. So I don't really don't have a problem with girl gamers. I think they're pretty awesome. Same thing with girl YouTubers. If you have quality content, I, I feel like go subscribe to them. I would say don't describe, just don't subscribe to somebody because of their looks. You know what I mean? I, I like to have, I like to be able to watch good content. So if you guys enjoyed, leave your comments below about what you think of girl gamers. Stay hairy, manginas.